Colorado job seekers now have more transparency from a potential employers after a new law took effect in 2021. And there is a new bill up for consideration in the state legislature intending to expand on the original Equal Pay for Equal Work Act that was passed before the pandemic. And Night News reporter Courtney Younes with us now with both sides of this proposed law. Courtney. Yeah, Tom. So testimony for Senate Bill 105 started at 2 p.m. and is just wrapping up now. Um, legislators won't get to debate that bill or vote today because of a calendar glitch, but supporters say it'll help ensure pay equality, especially for women of color, while opponents say there are some unintended consequences of laws like this. As a single mother raising her daughter, Edith Mata is just trying to make sure she's being paid fairly for the work she's doing. It made me feel like I wasn't being valued um, as a worker. So when she suspected that a male coworker was getting more opportunities for advancement and being paid more for the same work, she brought it to her union. And when we compared and contrast, we realized a lot of the women of color were actually being underpaid. Mata says they were able to get back pay for that inequality, but had the benefit of a union to help negotiate. So I think this bill will help a lot of our workers be able to do that even if they don't have a union. Supporters of Senate Bill 105 say the proposed law would increase back pay disparities from up to six years ago, clarify job promotion notification requirements for employers, among other things. Pretty much knowing where you can go to be able to get a promotion, how to be able to do that, you know, kind of seeing how you can work up that ladder is very important. And while this bill does a little bit to impact some of the inline promotion aspect, aspects. It does nothing when it comes to the remote work. President of Government Affairs of the Denver Metro Chamber of Commerce, Adam Berg, says they're still dealing with unintended consequences from the initial Equal Pay for Equal Work bill that passed in 2019. You now have to go out, publicly post it, publicly post the salary, delay the timeline in which this can occur, as opposed to rewarding someone who is a good employee. Berg also says employers looking to hire remotely are skipping over Colorado applicants because of the requirements. I don't know that we have a full understanding on uh, pay equity even in Colorado. And sometimes it feels like with these measures, we're putting the cart before the horse. Berg went on to say that some secrecy to the hiring process in terms of who is getting hired at what salary might be necessary to avoid a hostile work environment. Supporters of this bill would say pay transparency is an important way to ensure pay equality. Any idea how this bill, what kind of a future it holds right now? So they just, they debated it, or they heard some testimony today, legislators did at 2 p.m., and I was told it was just wrapping up um, a couple minutes ago. So no vote today because of calendar glitch, but hopefully it'll get taken up soon. All right, we'll follow up. Better since then. All right, thanks, Courtney.